Hi, and welcome to my video series from Overwhelm to Purpose and Joy. In my last video, we talked about how to move the energy. Remember that when you're overwhelmed, chances are you've experienced one or more of the following. Feelings of frustration, that's more than you can bear. Feelings of hopelessness, that there's no way to do it all. Feelings of self-doubt, that you're not up to the challenge. Feelings of inadequacy, that you're not enough. Feelings of anxiety and depression, that you may never be enough. Feelings of failure, that you can't do it right. Every one of us have had one of these feelings, at least, in our lives. And whenever you feel any of these, you can address them. One of the ways to address them is to change your environment, both the environment internally, your mindset, or externally. Now, last week we talked about moving and literally moving. So either moving your location when you're feeling stressed about your work or stressed about something and just move to a different place or moving your body. Uh, yoga and Tai Chi were two actually excellent ways to move, but even running um, or taking a walk, all are good. Now, last week, I moved my working office, which is basically my laptop, to my sun porch, a place I love to be as I feel surrounded by nature there. And I also started doing a daily virtual yoga class at noon. That's such a great midday break. And it's right here online. My name is Robin Thomas, and I am a business and lifestyle coach and a community leader in holistic health and wellness. I've had my own wellness business with USANA Health Sciences since 2004. And I founded my Healthy Living Community, Living Well Connections, in 2015. Today, we're going to continue with a similar topic on moving the energy to overcome overwhelm. For while overwhelm may make us feel like we're failing, it has actually not a sign that we are failing. It's our mind's way of telling us that we're in a little too deep and we need to move the energy before we're completely submerged. Overwhelm is fueled by chaos and most of us simply have too much stuff. Where there's a cluttered house, there's a cluttered mind. Clutter is both a symptom and a cause of overwhelm. You can move your energy and starve overwhelm simply by organizing something near you. It could be a drawer, one shelf, one section of your desk, or kitchen counter. Baby steps are important. Sure, five minutes won't barely make a dent in your mountain but five minutes of decluttering is a start. Celebrate when you've made that start and you're going to feel energized to refocus on your primary goals. Then take another five minutes tomorrow and another the next day. Before you know it, you'll have cleared a whole closet or a room or then maybe half your house and then who knows? and you don't have to do it all yourself. My friend Dot Wiggins is a professional organizer who could help you get started with simple tips. She understands that organi organizing is, in her own words, a living, breathing beast that needs care and nurturing, and it affects all aspects of your life and wellness. She can help you conquer your feelings of overwhelm through guiding you with few, a few questions. 
and through a conversation about things important to you, they could make changes within hours, opening possibilities and widening your perspective. She works virtually too. I'll share her Facebook page below the video. Remember that how we do one thing is how we do everything. And this is why moving the energy in one aspect of our lives, in this case, our own environment, will help raise our vibration to feel more positive and in control of all aspects of our lives. So if you're feeling overwhelmed, clean something near you and then go back to your main task at hand with a fresh start. Today's homework is to clean a drawer. Just one drawer will do. A good stop, a good start is your desk drawer. Just take the drawer out and empty it on a table. Then sort the drawer contents into three piles. Stuff that should really go in that drawer. Stuff that belongs somewhere else. Stuff to get rid of. Wipe out the drawer, put the stuff in the first pile back neatly and orderly, and then find appropriate homes for the stuff that belongs elsewhere and toss the rest away right now. I hope you're enjoying this video series from Overwhelmed to Purpose and Joy. And I'd love for you to join me in the Living Well Connections community for more support. I founded Living Well Connections to support, educate, and empower all of us to make healthy decisions toward a more balanced and fulfilling life. You just simply need to head over to livingwellconnections.info learn a little bit more about us and receive my gift of a free ebook, Five Ways to Get Started with Healthy Habits Without Getting Overwhelmed. In my next video, I'll be addressing how to face resistance, that inner voice in our head that pulls us downward in the emotional spiral. Until next week, keep moving the energy in a way that brings you more purpose and joy. Take care.